Do you want to learn how to stitch your mid-journey images together for that really cool zoom out effect? I promise you it's not that difficult. It'll take you like two to three minutes tops once you learn how. Let me show you. So obviously starting on Discord, you're going to be generating your mid-journey pictures. And when you find one you like, you're going to hit zoom out. I recommend using zoom times two. You can also zoom out with custom zoom and change your prompts. This process will work the exact same way. But the real tip here is to save your images and label them in order as in one two three four this will be really helpful now i'm using adobe's premiere pro to make this video but i think any video editing software will be able to do this exact same thing now the first step is we're going to drag our images onto the timeline but we're going to exclude the very last image so instead of one to four we're going to be doing one to three and we're going to be dragging that onto video track two not the bottom track we're dragging it one up Above. So here we have one, two, three. The next thing we're going to do is go back to our project selection and we're going to choose every image except for the first one. So this would be two through four. And we're going to drag that onto video track number one. So they will be below the first set of images. And the key thing here is that they're offset. So we're going to be going one, two, three and then two, three, four. That's basically the most important thing you need to know. Are you with me so far? Oh, by the way, I wanna thank Ariel over on Discord for this little breakdown. She explained how to do this process over in DaVinci Resolve, and I just kind of adapted it to Premiere Pro. So thanks again. Now what we wanna do is go to our image number one. So we're gonna be focusing on every image here on video track two, and we're gonna be making some keyframes. We wanna start every picture on the top row at scale 100, and by the end of the picture, we want to reduce that to 50. So you can click this keyframe button here. To make this quicker, you can hit the down arrow key on your keyboard. That'll bring you to the next image, so we wanna hit left on the keyboard, and that'll bring you to the last frame on image number one. And we're going to reduce the scale to 50. Now you don't have to change this to anything like ease in or ease out. You could try that but I haven't found success with it yet. Please let me know if I'm missing something. But the other key thing here and this is something I found to work really well is we also want to adjust the opacity and this is because the images don't exactly line up with each other perfectly. I know we zoomed out on them but when mid journey fills in the rest it doesn't get it perfect. Things are going to be off center a little and that's pretty noticeable when you're zoomed out on a picture. So we're going to hit the keyframe on the opacity, start it at 100. We can hit the down arrow, then the left arrow, and we're going to reduce the opacity to zero. Now to save us time, because we're going to do this for every image, you can right click on this little timeline up here, hit select all, and then we're going to copy that. And I do that on my computer by hitting control C, but you can also hit command C if you're on a Mac. Now here's another key tip. When you go to image number two, if you were to hit control V and paste it, it's, it's not going to work. So what you need to do is come back up here and actually go to the start of the image. Hit control V and everything shows up where it's supposed to. Click on number three, scroll to the left, hit control V again. You can also do that by hitting the down arrow key. I'm just trying to point out that it has to be at the start of the image if you want to paste things correctly. And we're legitimately almost done. That's how easy it is. We're now going to go down to video track one and edit those pictures. And for these, we want the scale to start at 200. We're gonna hit the keyframe button, down arrow, left arrow, and then you can change it here to 100 or you could just hit this little reset button and that'll bring it to 100 for you. We don't need to touch the opacity here. You're gonna hit select all, copy, down arrow, control V paste, down arrow, control V paste. Now, depending on how long your images are, this zoom out effect might actually take a little while. So there's one extra step you can do. You're going to select them all, right click, and hit nest. You don't really have to change the name, that's not important. Now, instead of editing the speed individually, we can edit the speed of everything. We're gonna hit right click, speed duration, and then you can either increase the speed or you can just drag the duration to a time that you see fit. And there you have it, that's the zoom out. But if you wanna do that cool boomerang zoom back in, Here's how to do it. You're going to hold down the Alt key on your keyboard, click on the nested sequence and drag to the right. This will create a duplicate. You can also just hit copy and paste, but this might just go a little quicker. 
We're going to drag the sequences so they're beside each other. We're going to right click on the second one, go back up to speed, and then we're gonna click here, reverse speed. Now when you hit play from the beginning, it zooms out and then zooms back in. I told you it was easy. Once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to do this really fast. I hope I explained all that well and made it easy for you. There's some free PDFs in the description if you wanna download and you can check out my prompt pack available on my website. I hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you next time. Peace.